here we are with another lesson. Um, I'm going to take a little bit different approach today. I would like to start to work on playing, helping you play some of the psalms that I've been recording. Uh, and I thought I would really like to work with the Psalms of Alia CD album. And what I wanted to do was, I wanted to give you the chord progressions and uh, work through the song with you um, chord by chord so that as you hear this song and you have your harp and you're tuned uh, with me, you can begin to play it. And I want to try to help you hear the harmonies that I hear as the chord progressions are played. So um, I'm going to make this uh, available to you as a download off of the website www.calmingharp.com and um, so it's probably going to take me a week or so to get them actually loaded up but I will make it available to you on the collaboration page. I'll make a separate um, little section there for the chord progressions of Psalms, uh, the Psalms of Alia. So if you go to that you can um, click on this sheet. I'll, I'll have it typed out for you. Um, you can click on the sheet, download it, so you'll have the chord progressions that can be in front of you. And then if you have the CD Psalms of Alia, um, you can play the song and play the chords in your harp along with the song and start to put things together. I found myself that it helped a lot if I had, if I could follow along with somebody else's music that was going. It helped me hear where I needed to go with the, with the song. So, um, so I'm going to put this um, on the website uh, in the next week or so. So look for it and um, download it. Get your harp out and um, start playing. So here's here's the idea. Um, I'm I've actually on the computer here. I have loaded up um, the first of the Psalms of Alia. This is uh, called I Cried Out. It's Psalm 120. And um, it's in the key of F, and it's on a fairly slow, I'm, I'm calling it a 2-4 time, it's dun, 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 like that, so it's slow. And um, key of F means that you're, you've got the, all of the notes natural, and the B is in the flat position, so there's not a, if you have levers, then you would bring your flat, your B natural down to a B flat, so... So that's the key of F. Now the main um, chords that we're going to play is the C chord. And so a C chord starts with the red C string and has the, the, the C is the first position, third position, fifth position. Okay. It's also going to have the B flat, which means you're just going to move your fingers down one string. And you can't do it down here because you don't have the B flat down here. So, and then the other, so that's going to be basically the, the, the verse part of the song is going to be. And then it goes into the chorus part of the song, which is going to start out with the G. So we go to the G string, which is the next one up from the F. F is blue. G. And then it goes up to the B flat. Oops. Okay. And then it goes up to the C. Okay. So it'll be. And now, so I just play around with the top strings here. These are harmony notes that are going along with the chord I'm playing. Okay. 
So that's the basis of what we're going to do. So what I want you to do is have the chords in front of you, if you want to have a music stand or something here, and then have the CD or, or have it downloaded in your MP3. And so st just start the song, and we'll just, I'll just start it here, and we'll just play along with what the song's doing. And what, what I do, you can mimic along to, uh, with what you're trying, you know, with what you're doing here. So let's just start the song here. Okay, if I can get it to start. There we go. So you have their basic sound there. So that's one of the ways of, get, of, of working with these songs. Now you notice that what was playing here on the, on the computer MP3 was different than what we were playing here on the harp. And that's, um, that's okay. You notice it didn't sound bad. It, a lot, it, most of the time it was a note, it wasn't the same note, but it was a note that was harmonizing. So when you're playing these chords, so all of the notes that we're playing are around the chords that we're playing. So, so the C chord is has has that C note. And then sometimes we'll stick with that C note as we go down to the B flat. But we go down to the B flat. So we hear, so here we're playing that B flat. We have the B flat, the D, and the F. So we play the B flat and then go up to the D which is also in that chord, and now we're back to the C chord. C 
see those notes were in that. So we went up to the E, which is in the C chord. So you can see that the notes that are in this melody that we're playing are notes that are out of the chord that we're playing. So if I can just... Um, C chord, B chord, C chord. And then we go down to the G chord. And then the B flat. C chord. So when I went up to the E, that's also in that C chord. And when I play the F, I don't stay on the F because that doesn't match with the C chord, but it works okay if you're just using it as a note to get to a note that's in the C chord. So the F is not in the chord, but the E and the C are in the chord. Okay. See how that's working? So you can just play around with that. The notes I was just playing there were notes that weren't on that song, um, but they were notes that worked out with that chord. So don't be afraid to play a different note than what I've played on the song. Make your own interpretations up there. Now the other thing too, it's you can play the chord here. Or you can play it here. See how it, it, it made a little variation by going down to that lower octave. And what I like, especially if you have a big, a larger harp, is even going one octave lower and getting a real bassy note there once in a while. You don't want to do the bass notes a lot because it starts to get muddy. But it's nice to hit that bass note to give a little uh, fullness to your sound. So don't be afraid to, to go up and go down. Don't be afraid to move around on the harp a little bit. Um, it adds a lot more variety. The harp is the perfect instrument for doing what, what is called a pregio. So, in fact, a pregio in Italian means harp. So, the harp is, was, um, is the instrument that is the most, that lends itself the most to the pregio. And so use the pregios. Don't be afraid to move around and use your fingers on different octaves um, so that you make the music more interesting. That's really what you're after, is to keep the music interesting. Let's, let's try... Um,
try some new stuff that wasn't even on the song there. What I'm trying to show you is that it's there's no harm in playing around with it. Um, keep kind of keep the timing going, but don't be afraid to just you know. Does this note sound okay with this chord? Okay, that sounds really good. So that doesn't sound good. So if you hit that note and it doesn't sound good. See, that doesn't sound very good. So if you hit that note, then move quickly to the next note. So it sounds okay if you're playing it along with this note. Right? That sounds fine. See, that one doesn't sound very good either. But if you play it along with and get back down to that note, the, the G note, then it does, you can play around with that. So, Okay, I wanted to uh, take a little bit of movie uh, video with my hands closer up so you can see um, what I've been talking about. So the C chord starts with the C, the red string. You skip a string, go to the third string. If you call this number one, two, three, four, five. So one, three, and five. Okay. And then if you want to do the B flat chord, you would just move down one to the B flat string. Still the first, third, and fifth. And back to the C. And then the G chord. So the G is the next string up, up after the blue F, G, okay, first, third, fifth, again, and then up to the B flat, C, Once again, don't be afraid to go up an octave or down an octave. Don't be afraid to try some different notes up here.
once, the string there didn't sound very good right there, so I recovered real fast by playing the next string down, just like we were talking about. So there's a lot that you can do to play around with that. So just keep keep working on bringing that C chord, G chord, B flat chord, C chord. So I hope that gives you a good idea, some things to work on, and um, we'll be doing some more of this. I'm going to take us through the Psalms of Alia, so there'll be 15 lessons all, uh, taking one song at a time, and uh, I want you to be able to play. I've got a lot of people asking me about how to play this music, and I just want to show you so that I can share with you and you can work on it and you can come up with some other alternatives, some other forms, some other ways of doing it because it's not, it doesn't have to be a certain way. Just remember that. Play with it. Have fun. Listen to it. Listen to what you're hearing. Put it out on the strings and have some fun with it. So until the next one, be blessed and we'll uh, talk soon. Take care.